There's just a ton of science on board from a variety of different disciplines. Both the scientific community and researchers here on the ground and also some high school and college students have experiments on this vehicle that were both delivered to the station and coming back home. So again, 2,668 pounds coming back home. The total amount of the cargo plus the packing material is 3,020 pounds. Here's a look from yesterday as Chris Hadfield, Tom Marshburn uh, worked to finish up the packing of Dragon and seal the hatches that took place yesterday morning. And they spent the rest of yesterday getting the vestibule, which is the area in between Dragon and the International Space Station, prepared to be demated, which that took place earlier this morning. As we came on the air at 3 a.m. Central Time, the bolts were being driven away from Dragon and the International Space Station. They were done at 3.05 and then unbirthing to place at 3.10 a.m. Central Time. Ever since that time, the uh, teams here in Houston have been sending ground commands to back Dragon away from the International Space Station and to put it in the position to get ready for the release, again coming up at 5.56. This will be the only part that the crew will actually take place in. They will be working at a robotic workstation inside the cupola module. They will pull the trigger on that and that will actually send commands to release Dragon from the space station.
This is Mission Control Houston. For those of you just joining us, we were providing live coverage of the departure of the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft this morning from the International Space Station. Right now, the two vehicles are high above North America, passing about 252 miles above Canada, heading to the east. Dragon was uninstalled from the International Space Station at 3.10 a.m. Central Time this morning. It is currently attached out there on the end of the station's robotic arm, which is attached at the other end to the Harmony node. Checkouts are continuing of both the uh, Space Station and Dragon, ensuring that things are ready to go for the release, which is coming up 53 minutes from now. That's release time scheduled for 5.56 a.m. Central Time, 6.56 a.m. Eastern Time. There will be a series of departure burns that Dragon will conduct. The first one at 5.57 a.m. Central Time, the second one at 5.59, and the third one at 6.06 a.m. Central Time. At that same time, 6.06, Dragon will be crossing what is called the Keepout Sphere. This is the imaginary circle drawn around the International Space Station, and then it will be on its way. The deorbit burn will occur at 10.42 and 33 seconds. Again, that is central time. And then splash down 214 miles off the coast of Baja, California will occur at 11.34 and 56 seconds. A programming reminder here on NASA television, we will end our coverage after we lose visual contact with Dragon. So once we can't see it anymore, they'll wrap up our coverage here. But if you would like to follow along, uh, as the spacecraft conducts its deorbit burn and splashes down in the Pacific Ocean, just log on to the SpaceX website or SpaceX's social media accounts, or you can follow along with us on nasa.gov slash station, the at NASA underscore Johnson account, or any of our other social media channels here at NASA.
Station Houston on Space to Ground 2 for Chris and Tom. No response required, but we are all ready for you for Procedure 1.320, the RWS setup. You are go for Step 1. Not only are we, it's not like we're on the same page, we are on the same page. We're both of us standing here just doing it right now. Thanks, Kate. Awesome. Thank you. And Kate, here come the uh, positive and negative hard stops in 1-1. One, one. Copy, thanks. 